If you want to create an online course on your WordPress website, there's some great LMS options you can use, such as LearnDash. But there's one thing that they don't do too well natively, and that's video. And video can be a huge part of your online course because it could be the best way for your students to consume your content and maximize their success with your course. In terms of video, sure you have some options like Vimeo or YouTube, but they don't give you too much freedom to control and customize how your video is consumed or interacted with. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the best video player for your LMS, such as LearnDash, and it comes packed with all these amazing features that can help your students succeed without you having to spend hundreds of dollars doing so. Before we get started with the video, hi, my name is Yaz from the Brainstorm Force team, creators of the most popular WordPress theme in the world. And on our channel, we create WordPress tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you want to improve your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. And if you're ready, let's get started with the video. As I mentioned in the intro, in this video, I'll show you a tool that can help your students succeed with your course. And that's by using a plugin called Presto Player. This is a video player plugin for WordPress with tons of amazing features and awesome integrations with LearnDash that can help your students get the most out of your online course. Let's take a look at Presto Player and I'll explain exactly how it can help you help your students. First of all, you have two different versions of Presto Player, the free version and the pro one. You can get the free version from the WordPress repository, but in this video, I'll be showing you the pro version because it comes with all the amazing features that I want to show you. You can install it like any other plugin by uploading and installing the zip file and then activating your license code. And once Presto Player is ready, this is what it will look like in your WordPress dashboard. On the left-hand side here, we have Presto Player. So let's get started and add our video onto Presto Player. And to do that, we have to go into what's called the Media Hub right here. And the Media Hub is basically Presto Player's own dedicated media library. And this is where we'll add our videos onto Presto Player from. So first, let's go up here and press Add New. And this is where we can add our video or content onto Presto Player. So first, let's go ahead and give it a title. I'm just going to call it Introduction like that. And down here, we have all the options we have in terms of adding content onto Presto Player. So first, we have video, which means we can directly upload video onto our WordPress website. We can add a video from YouTube, bunny.net. If you don't know what bunny.net is, it's a super fast and reliable video CDN that you can get for a very affordable price. Presto Player's integration with bunny.net is a great option to host your videos, and it's much better than hosting them directly on your WordPress website since it can affect the performance. But just to note that bunny.net is only available with the pro version of Presto Player. And lastly, we also have the option to add an audio file onto Presto Player. In this tutorial, let's go ahead and add a video directly onto Presto Player. So we're going to click video right here. And here you also have the option to make that video private, which means that only users that are logged in can actually access and see that video. We're going to leave that off and we're going to go ahead and add our video here. And just to save time, I've actually uploaded our video ahead of time right here. But alternatively, you can go ahead and upload your video right here as you would for any other video or file on your WordPress website. I'm going to go into Media Library and click on this video here and press Select. And there we go. Our video has now been added onto Presto Player. Next, let's go through some of the features that we have in terms of customizing Presto Player, show you exactly how you can help your students succeed in your video course. And the first feature that I want to talk about is chapters right here. And chapters on Presto Player works just like they do on YouTube but better. So you basically add a timestamp and a title and they show up on the timeline right here indicating what's being talked about, what's being shown at that point in the video. Let me demonstrate. So let's go ahead and add one at zero, zero right at the start of the video and call it start. I can press that plus icon right here to add the chapter. And I'm also going to add one at 10 seconds in. So I'm going to type in zero, zero, one, zero, and I'm going to call it the middle. I'm going to add that in. And I'm also going to add one more at 20 seconds in and I'm going to call it conclusion. Doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you like. I'm going to add that as well. And what you might notice down here is that we have the chapters visible on the timeline itself. And that's really cool. These chapters can be super helpful for your students because as they're going through the course, you can link in different timestamps. And once they come to the video, they can easily find that particular timestamp or chapter that they're looking for. It will show up right here and they can click on it and move to that exact point in the video. So it makes it a lot easier to navigate through the video and find exact point that they're looking for. And moving through the other functionality in Presto Player, you have overlays, which lets you add a quick and easy overlay on top of the screen. And you can add a link, you can customize the text, the color, opacity, and it's fully customizable to make it look exactly how you want it to. We're going to leave that one for now. And next we have muted autoplay right here. And what happens is when a visitor visits the page with your video, it'll automatically start playing, but without any audio, it'll be muted. And below that we have autoplay works the same way, but the sound starts playing along with it. Next we have play in line. So when users are watching your video on their mobile devices, the video will start playing within the web browser without actually moving to full screen. So you can enable that if you'd like to as well. And down here we have some performance settings as well. So if I drop that down, we have video playback speed, page load speed and page load speed extreme. Each one of these settings are referring to what we wanted to prioritize when loading up our page. For example, video playback speed will actually go ahead and load up some of the video before we discover it so that it's already loaded and ready to go when we want to play it. 
And next, with page load speed, it will prioritize loading up the page before the video, so it will only load up the thumbnail of the video and not the actual video itself. And lastly, with page load speed extreme, it will only prioritize loading the page. It won't even go ahead and load up the thumbnail for your video. And down here, we also have poster image, which is basically the thumbnail for your video, the one I just talked about. It will show up right here, and I can just show you quickly how it works. Just select any picture from this website I have here. Let's go ahead and select this one here, and I'm going to press select. And you can see that it's added that thumbnail on top of our video. And it looks pretty cool. You can add any image you'd like. Next, let's move on to video presets. And here you have tons of different options in terms of how you want your video player to look. So for example, we have default right here, which is what you see. Then you have course. You might notice that it changed up a little bit. Let me change that again. So we have the default one and we have course. We have simple, minimal, and YouTube optimized. So you can go ahead and choose any one of these presets that you'd want to use. But the real magic comes in adding a new preset down here. And this is where I'll show you some awesome features that will really help your students succeed if you're using Presto Player. That's going to press add new preset right here. And this is where you can really go ahead and customize the controls, behavior, the design, and even add some lead capture onto your Presto Player video. And in terms of video courses and Learn Dash, the key features I want to show you are in the behavior tab right here. As you can see in the behavior settings, we have so many different options and features that we can enable. But the ones I want to show you, let's start off with this one here, save play position. Save the user's play position so when they come back to the page, they can continue the video from where they left off. This can be extremely useful for your students because let's say if they want to jump from this part of the course into another part and they want to return to this video later on, they can really easily continue from where they last left off. They don't have to start from scratch at the start of the video or scrub to find the point where they left off. Presto Player will remember that for you. So it's a really good feature to have. And the next feature I want to talk about is called Focus Mode. So what happens is it only plays the video when the tab is visible and the video is in the viewport. So if let's say your student wants to jump to a different tab or wants to minimize the window, the video will stop playing. And what this does is encourages the student to actually pay attention and engage in the video and in turn, that can help them succeed with your course as well. So this is a really cool feature to have. Apart from that, in the behavioral features, you have captions on by default, auto hiding the controls. If your mouse is not moving for a few seconds, you can have sticky on scroll. So if I enable that, you can choose where you want the player to stick to when someone's scrolling down the page, the video will actually follow them. Next, you also have options in terms of what the video will do once the video is finished. It can either loop and start again, or it can go to the start of the video as well. And down here, you have some YouTube options as well. So you can hide the YouTube UI and related videos. Just remember that this is an experimental feature because YouTube's constantly undergoing changes and updates all the time. And down here, you have lazy load videos and it improves page performance. And it only loads the video once the video is actually clicked. So if I go back, we also have a bunch of different options that are here in terms of control. So you can actually customize how the video player controls look. You can remove and add certain aspects like the large play button. You can see that it disappeared. The small play button right here, fast forward, the progress bar down here, current time, volume, and so much more. And up here, you might notice skin with a drop down menu right here. We have four different types of video player that we can choose. We have the modern one, which is the one you see here. You have business, but more of a professional darker look. You have stacked. And as you can see, the progress bar is actually sitting on top of the different buttons here rather than in the middle. Then you also have basic. It's a very simple player. I'm just going to keep it on modern and go back. You can also customize the style. You can round the corners. If you have the pro version, you can also add your logo and you can choose to hide it by toggling this on. You can also customize the caption style. So you have default and full. And full shows up as a solid bar for your captions down at the bottom right here. I personally like the look of the default one, so I'm going to keep it at that. And we're going to go back. And you also get a bunch of different options to add email captures, call to action, action bars. I'm just going to show you what email capture looks like. So if I enable that, and what this does is it adds a prompt in any part of your video that you choose where the user will have to enter the email address to continue playing the video. Right now, it's set at the starting point right here, zero. You can change it to half of the video or at the end of the video or any point of the video you choose and that will pop up and the user will have to enter the email to proceed watching the video. It's a really cool option to have. You can also customize this any way you want. You can add some text. You can change the text right here. You can add some text at the bottom. You can change the color of the buttons. You can round the corners and it's super customizable. And over here, you can add a call to action button very similarly like this. We can have a button right here to send them to a different product, or a different landing page, anything you'd like. And once again, you can position it any way you want in the video. You can customize how it looks with the colors, the text, rounded corners, the opacity. And again, similarly, we have the action bar at the bottom as well. It's very cool to have. 
And all these features and options that I've shown you all there to help you customize your course so that you can create the best possible and tailored experience for your students so they can succeed and learn as much as they can. And down here, the last option we have is also dynamic watermark. So you can enable that to add a watermark through your video on different parts of the video as you see fit. I'm just going to disable that. I'm going to leave them all as is, and we're going to press create preset. Oh, I forgot to name the preset, which you can do up here. I'm just going to type in preset one. That's fine. I'm going, to, I'm going to go back down and press create preset. And there we go. You can see our new preset right here. And if you want to again, go into one of the other presets, you can, of course, click through them. But this one right here has all the options we've just chosen. We're going to go into preset one. And to round off the customization in Presto Player, we also have global player branding. And this is where you can really customize Presto Player to suit your branding and colors. So over here, you can also overlay your logo. So we can go ahead and select our logo file. For example, let's go ahead with this one right here. You can see that it's overlaid on the bottom right. Really neat and simple looking. And down here, you can choose the color of your video player. Currently, it's set to this blue right here. We're going to adjust it to a yellow that will better match the kind of colors we have on our web page. I think something like that will be all right. A little bit more this way. Yeah, I'm happy with that. You can press save branding right here once you're done with all of that. And our video is good to go. Once that's all done, we can go up here and press publish. And let's go back into our WordPress dashboard. And now that we're in our WordPress dashboard, we are now ready to go ahead and add our video from Presto Player onto our Learn Dash lesson page. So on the left hand side, let's go to Learn Dash right here and go down to lessons. And we can go ahead and press add new right here. Or you can choose your lesson page if you already have one. And this is what our lesson page looks like. Let's go ahead and add a title right here. I'm going to call it lesson one. And once you're ready to add your video, you might notice a little Presto Player icon on the top right over here. Let's go ahead and press that. And down here, all the videos that you've added onto your Media Hub will be listed right here. So we have our introduction video. So I'm going to click that. And it's immediately loaded up our Presto Player video, the introduction video, onto our lesson page right here. And you can see that it already has all the customization that we did to it within the Media Hub itself. And that brings us into the next benefit you have of using Presto Player with Learn Dash. To show you that, we're going to go into settings up at the top here beside the lesson page. And within the settings, if you look here, we have video progression. So if I toggle that on, you can see over here that the video is now tied to the course progression. So what this means is that the user will have to actually watch your video to progress in that part of the course. And of course, we'd have to enable use Presto video right here because we're using a Presto player video. And down here, you have two different options you can choose from. And the first one is before completed sub steps. So what this means is that in this lesson, the student will first be shown the video and they must complete watching the video before they have access to the lesson's associated steps, as it says down here. Alternatively, if you want to reverse that, you can press this option here after completing sub steps. And that means that the video will only be accessible after the student has completed the associated sub steps. And the video must be fully watched in order to complete that lesson. So down here, you can also enable auto completion once the video is finished. I'm going to toggle that on. You can also add a completion delay. So maybe I can add a few seconds, like five seconds like that. And you can also enable mark complete button. I'm going to go ahead and press toggle on that as well. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and publish your video. If you're happy with that, you're going to go ahead and publish. And there we go. We've successfully added our Presto Player video onto our lesson with Learn Dash, and we've enabled this awesome integration between the two with video progression as well. Now let's go ahead and check it out and see how it looks and functions. So I'm going to press View Lesson right here. And here we are on our lesson page, and you can see that our Presto Player video sits perfectly, except for maybe the colors because I didn't quite match the color perfectly to what it looks like on our website. It's more of an orange rather than a yellow. But that's all right. We can always go ahead and customize it like we did earlier in the video. If I press the Play button right here, you can see our video starts playing and we have the player looking exactly how we wanted. We have the overlay there with the action button here. We have the chapters up here as well. So if I click on conclusion, the conclusion chapter, you can see that it jumped to that part of the video here. And the chapters are also visible at these parts of the video. And there we go. It was really easy and we managed to add our Presto Player video onto our Learn Dash lesson. But before we wrap up the video, I have one more feature I want to show you that's a huge benefit of using Presto Player with Learn Dash. To check it out, let's go to our WordPress dashboard once again. And on the left hand side, if I go down all the way to Presto Player, we have a menu here called Analytics. Let's go ahead and click that. And this is our analytics page, and it's only available with the pro version of Presto Player. But what's really cool is it can track the views of your videos, the watch time, top users once they're logged in, as well as top media down here. So you get a huge insight into how your video is performing on your website, what parts of the video have the best engagement, what parts are dropping off. So it can really help you improve and optimize your course to again, make your students as successful as they can be when doing your course. And that wraps up all the features that I believe would benefit your students if you choose to use Presto Player as your video player on Learn Dash. And what's great about Presto Player is that all of these features are all available at a very affordable price, unlike all the competitors where you don't get as many features and they also charge you more. 
So if you want to check out Presto Player, I'll leave a link for you in the description below. And that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial helps you level up the videos on your online course. If you got value from the video, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here. And if you want to check out even more WordPress videos, you can click on the playlist here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.